Hi, I'm Mike, Head of Career Services at Career Foundry. And I'm Danielle, Senior Career Specialist. In this video, we're going to show you how to get hired as a web developer. If you're new to the web development industry, landing your first job can be tricky. You know you've got the skills and the passion for it, but do you know how to communicate that to hiring managers? How can you impress at interviews? How can you make sure you even get an interview in the first place? We'll show you how. Our five-step guide covers everything you need to get your foot in the door, starting with how to gain valuable experience. We'll then show you how to tailor your job search and make sure your application stands out. To finish, we'll share our top tips for networking like a pro and acing your first web development interview. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to apply for and land your first role as a web developer. Ready? Let's go. When it comes to landing your first job as a web developer, you'll need to demonstrate some kind of practical experience. But how do you get experience without a job? It's that classic conundrum that many job seekers face. Fortunately for developers, there are plenty of ways to get hands-on coding experience before you're officially hired. One option is to volunteer your programming skills. This is an excellent way to gain real-world experience and add some interesting projects to your portfolio. Check out organizations such as Code Does Good, a group of developers who volunteer their coding skills to help other nonprofit organizations. You'll gain valuable experience while giving something back to the community. Win-win! Another option is to get involved in open source projects. Open source projects consist of publicly available source code that anyone can modify, making it ideal for new developers. While putting your skills into practice, you'll also have the opportunity to work collaboratively with other developers, which is great for your CV. You can find loads of open source projects on GitHub. Be proactive. Take every opportunity to get hands-on, even if you're not getting paid. Every project you take on sends a clear message to employers. You've got the right skills and you're ready to use them. While gaining as much experience as possible, you also need to come up with a solid job search strategy. Web development is an extremely broad field and there are countless routes you can take in your career. So before you start browsing for jobs, be clear on what you want. Essentially, you'll want to tailor your job search to both your existing skills and your goals for the future. If you want to focus on front-end development, it makes sense to apply for front-end roles. If you're considering branching out into back-end development later on, check for roles that might accommodate this. At the same time, think about the kind of setting you want to work in. Would you thrive in a startup environment, or do you prefer the structure and stability of a large corporation? What industries and products are you passionate about? Are you willing to travel or relocate? Once you know what you're looking for, it'll be much easier to find suitable roles. Job boards are a good place to start. Check out sites like Glassdoor, Indeed, Stack Overflow, and GitHub to see what's out there. Once you've narrowed down your preferences, I recommend making a target list of companies in your area and applying with them directly. And don't forget, opportunity may be lurking in the offline world too. Don't be shy about asking your friends or industry contacts if they know of anyone hiring. The next challenge in landing your first web developer job is to secure an interview. While it's not uncommon for experienced developers to be headhunted, newbies may have some convincing to do. So how can you stand out among dozens or even hundreds of other applicants? Let's consider three key strategies. First and foremost, tailor your resume and cover letter. Job hunting is extremely time consuming, and we're all guilty of firing off loads of generic applications at once. However, recruiters will spot this a mile away, and this one-size-fits-all approach rarely pays off. If you're serious about landing a web developer role, you must tailor your resume and cover letter to each job you apply for. Pay attention to vocabulary. Pick out the most important keywords from the job description and optimize your resume accordingly. So if the employer specified JavaScript, HTML, and CSS as must-have skills, for example, you'll definitely want to feature those terms quite prominently in your resume. At the same time, be sure to highlight specific skills and experience that qualify you for the role. Even if you have an impressively broad skill set, emphasize those qualities that are most relevant to the job ad. Steer clear of generic claims and vague sweeping statements. Instead of declaring yourself an excellent team player, be specific about what makes you stand out. My second key tip for aspiring web developers is to share your code on GitHub. GitHub is a web platform which hosts code repositories and is considered the industry standard tool for version control. Make sure you have an active GitHub account in place before you send out any applications. This shows potential employers that you're constantly using and expanding your skill set. 
Not only that, it allows employers to see how clean you keep your code. Last but not least, polish your portfolio. As a web developer, your portfolio is a crucial part of your application package. It shows potential employers who you are and what you're capable of. Before you start applying for jobs, get your portfolio up to date. Describe your portfolio projects by detailing the process, the technologies used, as well as the challenges you faced and how you overcame them. And remember to present the information in a way that both developers and recruiters without any technical knowledge can understand. Finally, provide contact details and share a link to your GitHub profile. And remember, your portfolio website is not just a platform for hosting your work. It's a portfolio piece in itself. So why not code in some quirky functionalities? It's all about going that extra mile and making a lasting impression. Another key part of your job search strategy is networking. It's not just about finding job opportunities either. Networking can also be a great source of support, mentorship, and knowledge exchange. If you're completely new to the field, networking can seem like a pretty daunting task, but don't worry. There are plenty of ways to meet fellow developers without necessarily feeling like you're networking. One option is to take part in a hackathon, which is basically a coding marathon, often described as a design sprint for programmers. You'll get together with other developers to collaborate intensively on a certain project. You'll be working as part of a team, which makes it easy to start chatting with people. Just Google hackathons in your local area, or check out websites such as AngelHack, HackEvents, Hackalist, and DevPost. If the idea of a hackathon seems too intense, consider attending some tech meetups instead. Meetup.com has tons of free and low-cost meetups, ranging from casual groups for beginners to more formal workshops. Attending meetups for other topics or hobbies is also effective because it will grow and diversify your network. Of course, there are also plenty of networking opportunities in the offline world. Platforms like Stack Overflow, GitHub, Code Project, and Bytes are among the most popular online hangouts for web developers. Slack has tons of local tech groups and channels too, where you'll find local events, job boards, and advice from seniors. Engage in discussions, share your work, and keep up with industry trends, all while making valuable connections along the way. Whether you prefer to connect online or in person, networking should be seen as a long-term strategy. As your network grows, so will your confidence, and you never know what opportunities will arise as a result. So, you've gained hands-on experience, you've networked hard, and you've sent off some outstanding applications. Now for the final hurdle, acing the interview and securing your first web developer role. When it comes to giving a good interview, you need to convince the interviewer that you can hit the ground running. At the same time, you need to demonstrate genuine passion and enthusiasm for the job. So, how can you put your best foot forward? First of all, be prepared for a coding challenge or technical test. It's highly likely that the interview process will involve a practical exercise, so be ready to demonstrate your coding skills under pressure. Secondly, research the company and understand their product. Don't just scan their about page. Make sure you can talk knowledgeably about their mission and how you, as a developer, can contribute. Frame your answers within the context of the company, and don't forget to ask questions of your own. The interviewer wants to see that you're interested and engaged. My final interview tip is emphasize communication and teamwork. As a developer, you won't just be coding behind a computer screen. You'll need to collaborate with designers, marketers, product owners, and your fellow programmers. Besides technical prowess, solid communication skills and team spirit will earn you significant bonus points. Convey these in your interview, and you'll be well on your way to a job offer. So there you have it, the ultimate guide to landing your very first job as a web developer. For more tips and insights, head on over to the Career Foundry blog. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.